right, welcome, welcome, welcome to the launch party of Military Saves Month. We have been working so hard for months and months and months, and we are very excited that April is finally here all month long. We are jam-packed with events and giveaways and sweepstakes, so you're going to want to tune in today because we're going to tell you how you can win. So let me go ahead and get started. I'm Jackie. I'm with Military Saves. We are an organization that's dedicated to helping the entire military community save money, reduce debt, and build wealth. And today we want to remind you to please take the Military Saves Pledge, and that's going to get you kicked off and eligible for all the goodies this month. That is also going to give you any sort of reminders you want, texts, emails, to keep you on track with your money-saving goals. So, before we go too far, I'm going to let these other lovely festive ladies introduce themselves. We'll start with Angela. Angela, can you tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do for Military Saves? Oh, well, thank you for the intro, Jackie. So my name is Angela Caban. I'm the director here at Military Saves. Many already know that, and we're super excited to launch today. So I'm an Army National Guard spouse, and I always like to say that I've actually been all three components, active duty reserve, and we ended uh, my husband's career with National Guard. Been happily married for 16 years, and it's been quite the experience for us because we've always lived within a civilian community. So being able to continue my work here at Military Saves and give back to the military community now that my husband has transitioned out of the Army is super exciting for me. So here at Military Saves, um, you know, I think I have one of the greatest jobs ever, and I have a wonderful team that helps me along the way, of course. So um, we get to help people save money. And for us, um, it's really personal. You know, I have a passion that stems from not only my direct affiliation with the military community, but also from someone who has been there and has learned the hard way about saving. So you will see a lot of times the content that we share and the sh uh, stories that we share, which we like to call our saver stories, are very personal because I always think that's what finances are, extremely personal. So I love this program, you know, that takes such a serious uh, topic as finances and uses that as a discussion point for everyone, no matter where they are in their savings journey or in their military uh, life cycle. Great. Thank you so much, Angela. All right, Lila, I'm going to let you introduce yourself next. And I'm Lila, and I am the Military Save Senior Program Manager, and I am a veteran. I was in the Army, and I'm also a, a military spouse. My husband is active duty Army, and I'm an accredited financial counselor, and the reason I became one was really because I, myself, as a young military spouse struggled with finances. And I, it's something that, you know, actually I did have some good money examples in my family, but I wasn't really ready. I didn't know, you know, I didn't know how to grown up, I guess you could say. I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing. I didn't know what I was supposed to, how to save. I didn't know how to save and I didn't know what I was supposed to be saving for. And so, you know, running into those, those issues really when I saw that there was a program that allowed me to become an accredited financial counselor, which I should give a shout out here, that's a great, uh, a great, great program. Uh, FINRA uh, allows military spouses to become financial counselors for free. And we can maybe drop a link in for that later um, because that's a great thing. And I think the applications are still open for this year. But um, yeah, so I too have a passion for helping other military families because I know I know how hard it is. And I think that um, money is such a taboo topic. Nobody, nobody talks about, you know, your finances. You don't tell people how much you spend on something, how much debt you have. People share much more personal things about their, you know, their romantic life than they do yeah. about, about money. And, and I, I think we need to stop. We need to, to talk more about money. So happy to be here. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I couldn't agree more. And um, for those of you, last but not least, I'm Jackie. I'm the newest member of Military Saves. I joined up in October. And um, prior to that, I was an Army wife for seven and a half years. I've been a freelance writer, and I started my writing career when we were stationed in Germany. And I did a lot of posts on military lifestyle, military travel, um, and it was just really exciting. And it's kind of led me in this wonderful direction. Um, when I first got married, I did have student loan debt. And I mean, that haunted me for years. It's 
gone now, thank goodness. And um, from there, I didn't take advantage of a lot of the free resources available in the military because I didn't even know about them. So this is uh, this is going to educate not only the active duty service members, but it's also going to help the spouses, dependents, veterans, DOD employees. So thank you all so much for joining us. To give you an idea of what we're going to be doing, um, we're going to go through a little bit more of um, the month, but you definitely want to stay tuned because we're going to talk about how to be eligible for our weekly giveaway ways courtesy of our friends at Military Family Magazine. That's going to be for a $50 gift card every single week during the Midday Money Chats. This one is eligible, so please be sure to drop in the comments their, your favorite takeaway from today. And then we're going to go into how to win our $500 I'm Saving for Sweepstakes, which is our big overarching grand prize for the month. So stay tuned for that. All right. So Angela, since you're our director, could you please give us a little introduction to who Military Saves is and what Military Saves Month is? Yeah, sure. But I think before I do that, could we officially kick off Military yeah. Saves Month 2021 with a toast, which is a really special toast, ladies. Yeah. Um, and for me, I'm going to say to saving money, Lila. To reducing debt. <laughs> Jackie. And to building wealth. Oh, and cheers to our service members, our military spouses, military kids, and veterans. Happy Military Saves Month 2021. Thank you. And I think that deserves another one of these. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I would hate to skip that beautiful inaugural step. So here we are at 2 p.m. Let's kick this off. <laughs> Five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> okay, so back to the question, Angela, if you could tell our audience who we are, what we do, and what this month is all about. Absolutely. So if you've been with Military Saves for quite some time, you'll know that we've been around since 2005. We're a nonprofit, as Jackie had mentioned in the beginning. We're also a component of America Saves. And what we do here is we motivate, we support, we encourage the entire military community to what we just said, save money, reduce debt, and build wealth. So we do this by using something very unique, which is the principle, uh, principles of behavioral economics, and which is what makes our program, again, unique and different. I know Lila um, loves talking about this as well. So we really make you think about, you know, why you spend the way you spend, what you do, what you do. And the overall end effect is to motivate that action and to change your savings behaviors. I know it's helped me tremendously, um, you know, being a part of this program. And another thing is that you're going to hear us say a lot throughout a lot of these uh, monthly chats, or now I should say weekly chats, is start small, think big, because um, that's been actually around since the start of America Saves back in 2002. And we love the slogan because, um, especially when we're talking realistically about savings, savings and spending, no amount is too little to start. And we really like to take a look at that realistic uh, perspective and what truly motivates us to save money. So um, this is our second year now celebrating Military Saves Month, which if you remember from the beginning of that campaign in 2008, I believe, uh, we used to be Military Saves Week. But now we are um, a month which has expanded to align with Financial Capability Month. And so what the goal of Military Saves Month is, again, is we're talking about encouraging the entire military community to save, but also to check in on their savings goals. I think um, we talk about going to the dentist and to um, you know, our medical appointments to check up on how you're doing physically. Well, it's a good opportunity to evaluate your finances as well. I think everybody goes through changes here and there, especially you know, if you've been impacted by COVID-19 or there might be some other um, expenses or you know, changes to your income. So I think um, for our program itself, it's a wonderful opportunity to have that opportunity to check in for your uh, financial uh, well-being. So you'll hear us talk about the Military Saves Pledge a little bit later, um, but this really is the foundation of our program. So when you hear us prompt you to either take the pledge or re-pledge, this is where you're making a promise to yourself and it's the start of a, simp a simple savings plan. And that's going to be something that works for you. Um, and you're going to gain access to various tools and resources that you are going to need in order to help you stay track on your savings goal. So again, Military Saves Month is a wonder, wonderful opportunity to get started if you've never done so before. Excellent. Well, and for those of you who are wondering, how do I know what's going on with Military Saves Month? 
Facebook is the hub. We are promoting on all of our other social media networks and I'll be sure to drop links below or on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. But here, if you follow our Facebook events, that's where you're going to find out when every single weekly midday money chat will be. I will be your lovely host. And again, that is how you will have the opportunity to win a $50 gift card of your choice from Military Families Magazine. Tune in to all of those chats live. Drop your favorite takeaway that you learned from that. And we will select a winner at the end of the chat and notify you and voila, $50 is yours. So um, it does, you do need to uh, make sure that you take the military saves pledge as Angela advised as well. But I wanna kind of go into what our themes are because every single week we have a different theme. So Lila, would you please share with our audience what our weekly themes are for Military Saves Month? Sure, well, we have five weekly themes, which if you look at a calendar, April does go into five, five weeks, um, but we kind of start in the middle of a week. And uh, the, the theme for this first week is our overarching theme for the entire month, which is save automatically. And that is, um, if, if you don't understand what we mean by save automatically, what we mean is you should be splitting your paycheck each, each month, that's a great way to save, by putting part of it in a dedicated savings account. Or you can have an allotment from, from my pay going to a savings account, whatever way you wanna do it. When you automate it, you set it and forget it. And then that is just the, the easiest way and most effective way to save over, um, over time. So that is our for our theme this week, save automatically. Next week, we have save for the unexpected because everybody knows, um, you know, if, uh, emergencies will happen, <laughs> whether it's a natural, you know, disaster like a hurricane. I, we were stationed in South Florida um, before we uh, came up to the DC area and we were hit by um, two different hurricanes while we were down there. And so, you know, whether it's a natural, a natural disaster or something like COVID, which, you know, is something else that, you know, nobody could predict, or whether it's, you know, getting a flat tire or having your brakes go out or needing, um, you know, emergency dental work or a ticket to fly home to see, you know, a loved one, all these things happen and um, we need to try to prepare ourselves for them. And the best way to do that is by having an emergency fund. So that's week two. Um, and then week three is save to retire. Um, you know, a lot of uh, military folks, some of them stay in for 20 plus years and have a military pension, but other people, you know, only are in the military for a few years and then they get out. And then we have all the military spouses out there who have, um, you know, retirement needs too. So it's very, very important that you start when you're young and start um, saving for your future self. So that's our third um, theme. And week four is save by reducing debt. A lot of people who have you know, student loan debt or credit card debt get very discouraged when they think that they can't possibly ever afford to save. You, know, you have the saying like, you know, more months than money. Um, but <laughs> but we, want, <laughs> we want to uh, encourage folks to, that when they're paying down debt, that is a way of saving because when you reduce your debt, you increase your credit score and you, um, you know, are, you are um, giving yourself better interest rates. The better your credit score is, the better your, your, you know, your security clearance. You won't have issues if you're in the military or in a job, you know, that requires a security clearance. So there's all kinds of benefits. So we want to encourage folks that when they're saving, um, when they're paying down debt, that that is just another form of saving. And then last, but definitely not least, um, is a new one for us this year is save as a family. And this is, you know, what we were talking about before where you have uh, kind of frank and open talks about money. So you include everybody in there, um, you know, kids, spouses, everybody should, should be talking about money and um, parents can model good behaviors for their kids so that when that, you know, they're setting them up so that when they, uh, when they join the, you know, the, the working world, then, then they know how, they know how to save effectively. So those are our five themes there. Thank you. That was very comprehensive. I appreciate that, Lila. So now I want to ask each of you, what week are you most excited about? I'll start with you, Angela. Um, 
I think I am most excited about week five. As Lila had mentioned, this is new for us, you know, save as a family. And as I have said many times, um, talking about money with your family was never something that was encouraged, at least not when I was growing up. It was always very personal and private. So as a mom of two, I think it's going to be so important um, even for myself, I feel like I'm constantly learning, you know, different things, which is fantastic to be able to engage with my children and have them participate. You know, they know all about military saves, all about the month, why I do what I do. So I think being able to open that up um, to the children, to military spouses is going to be really exciting. We have so many amazing things planned for that week. Um, so I think it's going to be a really good one. That's my favorite. How about you, Lila? Well, I mean, I, I, I do think that I, I, I would agree with Angela that perhaps Save as a Family is a favorite, but I have a close second, which would probably be Save to Retire. Um, because one thing I'm really passionate about as a military spouse is making sure that everybody has savings of their own. And I do think that um, a lot of times as military spouses, we move around, um, we don't have uh, you know, a, a consistent work career. So, you know, we're not um, working at the same place usually for, you know, our whole career. We may uh, have our ups and downs where we, you know, come in at one level and then the next place when we, when we move, we have to start again in, a, in, a, in an entry level position. So we have very sporadic earnings that, you know, may not, may mean that we don't have any retirement savings. And um, I really think that say, you know, that that's something that I'm very passionate about addressing is, is having, making sure everyone has savings because military spouses should have savings too, so. Oh yes, well, it's funny because I shared the same two weeks with both of you. Uh, Actually <laughs> save to retire is of interest because when I started here, there was a discussion of, do I save to pay for my kid's college or do I save to pay for retirement? And the point was made that there aren't scholarships for retirement there aren't loans for retirement. And I thought, oh my gosh, I need to start beefing up my own account because it's it's not the sexiest topic. A lot of people think, oh, I'll do that when I'm older, but you need to start when you're young and then you can enjoy it when you're older. And the military is so unique because you can be a retiree at 38. Like it's, it's just unbelievable. Um, so I, I think that's going to be a really useful topic for me personally. And then I can't wait to see what we do for Save as a family, because for all the midday money chats, we have a lot of amazing experts lined up. So we're going to couple their information with free tips, tools, resources, and then our behavioral economics to encourage you to make those choices and not always think about what you want right now, but what you might want in the future. Um, so now without further ado, as I've teased a couple of times, we're going to be giving away $500, which is a really great way to jumpstart your savings or to help pay off your debt. So I'm going to let Angela share how people can enter our I'm saving for a sweepstake. Yeah, sure. So the very first thing that you need to do is head on over to militarysaves.org and take the Military Saves Pledge, or you could take the Military Saves Pledge by texting Military Saves to 877-877. And if you have done so already, already within the past 12 months and you don't need to do it again, However, if you haven't done so, um, or maybe you took it last April, you'll have to go ahead and re-pledge again in order to be eligible to enter. So that's step one. Step two is head on over here on Facebook and um, request to join our group, which is called Military Savers. And then three, the very last step, is once we accept your request to join the Military Savers group, make a post in the group of what your savings goal is, the one that you pledged for, and use the hashtag, I'm saving for sweepstakes. And that's it, you're all entered to win the $500 and the winner will be chosen the first week of May. Perfect, and that contest has officially launched now, hasn't it, our sweepstakes? It's not, it has, yeah. <laughs> what are you waiting for? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Well, um, so now I'm gonna ask for each of you, what are you most looking to learn or what are you most excited about? Um, like, what do you think you're gonna get out of Military Saves Month? I'll start with you, Lila. Um, well, I, there's a couple things I'm excited for because I, I have the benefit of knowing uh, our, who our guests are for our various midday money chats. And I'm actually really excited about the Save to Retire one 
because not only do we have experts from um, uh, like AARP and um, the New Jersey um, uh, Board of, um, ah, the New Jersey uh, Securities, <laughs> Board of Securities, but we also have a very young, um, a, a person who retired super young from the military and is like a, a, a millionaire surfer dude. And I'm just like so excited to hear his story. <laughs> he lives in Hawaii. I mean, wow. I'm like looking out my basement, my gloomy basement window at this, uh, you know, drizzly Northern Virginia weather. And I can only imagine. So I'm, I'm really excited about that, you know, that uh, midday money chat. And, um, and we also are gonna learn about like kind of scams and pitfalls to avoid. And I think military are very um, susceptible to, 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 the, to certain types of, of scams because just the community you live in, a lot of people try to take advantage of it. So um, uh, that's, I think the thing I'm, I'm most excited and looking forward to. Perfect, how about you, Angela? Yeah, and I'm glad you brought that up, Lila, because in the military community, at least in the finance, in the financial world here, everybody wants to be Doug Nordman when they grow up. <laughs> just set himself up for success. And it really does make you take a step back and reassess. But again, you know, my family and I started a little bit later, you know, to, to save for retirement. We haven't been discouraged. You know, we've been putting that, you know, a little extra to the side every time we receive that. But I'm really excited about that chat just to hear the different perspectives, you know, from someone in the military community um, versus those in the, um, you know, like ARP in the field. So, but I'm going to go back to week five um, because we are going to not only be talking about involving kids, but I'm really excited to learn more from um, NMFA, which is the National Military Family Association. They're going to be sitting in and having a discussion about military spouses and their savings, because I think it's definitely a conversation that hasn't really been touched on. I know we talk a lot about retirement in the community, but that really does um, focus more on the service member and their transitioning. However, I think the spouse does need uh, resources and tools for themselves to transition as well. Um, especially those that are working in the gig economy, which is really big in the military spouse community. And then we also have one of our own. We have uh, our associate director of America Saves is going to be sitting sitting in and talking about um, youth uh, savings in the space. So I'm really excited because that's not exactly something I've ever really focused on. It's always been more about you know the spouse and the service member. So I just am really you know thrilled to learn from other people, and I think there's going to be a lot of really good discussion and a lot of good questions that are going to come out of those chats. So I'm excited for you to host those, Jackie. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm excited too. And I had the pleasure of writing the interview questions. <laughs> and I've seen them and they're fantastic. So <laughs> it's like everything I want to know. Um, I'm really excited about tomorrow's chat because oh, yeah. I'm talking with a gentleman who is a professor, he's an AFC, and he's done a TEDx um, talk on uh, financial empathy. And it's just a really good topic because Money isn't just numbers. It's very emotional. It's very personal. It's something you sometimes feel proud of. Sometimes you might feel ashamed of. Um, and it's talking about how we need to approach it with empathy and not judgment. And that's not just towards others. That's towards ourselves. So I think it's going to be a really meaningful conversation tomorrow. And that's going to be happening here at 3.30 p.m. into that. So... As you hear, there are the three of us, but we haven't done this alone. We do have our wonderful guests. And Angela, I think you can mention that it's not just an effort, even though it might some days feel like it's just the three of us. I know we've got an amazing team. So I'll let you do say what you'd like to say there. Yeah, so like I said, I couldn't do what I do every day without you know you, Jackie, and you, Lila. We are a very small but very mighty team. And I think, and I love how you guys just cheered at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> However, you know, we have so many amazing supporters as um, a nonprofit organization, you know, we have to count on the donations and the generous support. Um, so one um, of, of those that I do want to mention is the Wells Fargo Foundation. They've been a longtime supporter of military saves. And then something that we're really super excited that we're launching is our My Money Mistake video series. And we are grateful to USAA for that donation made um, to be able to create this video series for everyone. And again, I talked earlier a little bit about those personal stories. Talk about personal, like actually 
putting it out there about mistakes you've made with your money, you know? So that's gonna be really refreshing to see. And then of course, all of the installations, um, you know, even overseas, nonprofits and all participants signed up for Military Saves Month. Thank you all um, for being a part of this nationwide effort, you know, and this is a good cause of helping military families be financially ready. So we definitely are so very grateful for the support. Thank you. And we are still signing up partners. You can still partner with us. And we even got individual bloggers, for example, who are sharing about social media, or, sorry, sharing about Military Saves Month on social media. So I can also drop a link there because we would still love to have you be a part of Military Saves Month and help give back to the community in this way. We have done all the heavy lifting for you. Um, and if you could just help us spread the word, we'd be very appreciative. So uh, Lila, I'm gonna let you mention one more time about the pledge because word on the street is that those who take the pledge do really well <laughs> with their <sales. laughs> And I know you're always good with facts. So if you could tell us again, the importance of the pledge, that would be great. Well, the pledge is simply, um, as Angela mentioned before, it's simply a promise to yourself to start saving for a certain goal. And um, we know from behavioral economics and from our own um, surveys that people who um, have a plan of some sort, and, and again, the pledge is the, the start of a, of a spending plan, that they're twice as likely to be able to save for their goals. So, um, and, and then the other thing is that the, that the pledge is sort of the the entryway to getting our communications. And we call these like little nudges that we give you to kind of, um, we're, we're your, like, like your accountability buddy. We're trying to cheer you on so that you can reach your savings goals. Um, we wanna motivate and inspire you. We don't wanna just, you know, <laughs> we don't wanna just educate you and teach you about um, about personal finance, although we do that too a bit. But, um, you know, we really wanna just, we wanna, um, be there to, to cheer you on and help motivate you to reach your goal. Fantastic. And I agree. We're, we're not, you see, we're fun. <laughs> we, we love what we do. We love to inspire. And that's basically what we're doing here. And since I've gotten this position, I told you that I was already inspired to contribute to retirement. Once I heard, oh yeah, there's no scholarships or loans. I better get on that. And one of our savers wrote in her story that we featured on her blog and she won $50 because she and her husband who's active duty accumulated six figures in savings. And so we saw that and thought, well, that's absolutely something we need to do too. So there's just a lot of uh, positivity and ideas and great free tips, tools, and resources at your fingertips. And we want to encourage you to use them. And then we'll be cheering for you every single step of the way. So um, is there anything else you ladies would like to mention before I kind of wrap this up? I feel like this has been a really good, informative and fun launch. No, I think I think it's been covered so, so beautifully. We're just so excited, you know, to kick things off. It's going to be a really fun uh, five weeks here. So thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Lila. You know, we've worked so hard. I think we've been doing this in September, planning all of these events and um, just organizing everything. So it's nice for everything to just kind of like unveil and, and move forward with the, with the month. So yeah, it'll be fun. Great. How about you, Lila? Anything else you'd like to add? Um, you touched on it in passing, but I did want to encourage people if they have a really good um, savings uh, saver yeah. story, if a savings tip that they want to share, then please feel free to, uh, we have a specific place on our website, militarysaves.org, where you can submit your story. And if you're selected, you will get $50, as Jackie mentioned, and we'll feature you on our blog. And also please do follow us on social media because we have some really great um, social media going. We're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, LinkedIn. Um, and my teenage daughter is trying to convince us to be on TikTok as well, but we have not quite um, gotten there yet. I mean, we like to dance, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> <Not yet. laughs> well, um, as a reminder, drop a comment below of what you learned or what you're looking forward to, and you will be in the running for the $50 gift card giveaway from Military Families Magazine. And we just want to thank you for joining us today. We hope you join us all month long for all of the experts, live events, giveaways, sweepstakes, and we're going to do what we can to help you and your military family, veterans, everybody, DOD community, save money, reduce debt, and build wealth. So 
Thank you so much. Happy Military Saves Month, everyone. Yay! Fun. <laughs> <Meant to be. laughs> Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you all month. Bye-bye.